Thank you for tuning in to News Flash, the show where I bring you the car news from this week today. This show is powered by ClassicCars.com, The Journal, and today we have a bunch of interesting topics. I'm your host, Jeff Sutton, and today we'll be looking at another of the Dodge Last Call cars. Lamborghini announces a new power plant. We have some anniversary series and even a Resto Mod Miata. Our first bit of news is the number six of the last call cars from Dodge. This one in particular is a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat wide body Black Ghost. The Black Ghost comes in reference to the 1970 Dodge Challenger of the same name, which roamed Woodward Avenue in the 1970s, destroying everybody on the drag strip and on the road in terms of the drag racing concepts. That car was owned by Godfrey Qualls, and Haggerty has a really interesting 40 minute documentary on the car, so if you have the time, I would strongly suggest that it's over on YouTube definitely check that out just like the actual car this car will be featured in triple black along with a gator skin vinyl top and some gator skin badges and details along with a white stripe that goes around the back end of the car like you would expect to see on Mopars production will be limited to 300 units and this features the power bump up to 807 horsepower sitting just below the demon and it's gonna be coming on sale here in spring and I can expect that the price will probably be somewhere in the range of 85 to ninety thousand dollars and stay tuned as we will be covering the seventh car which will be unveiled at sema for our next article chevrolet has announced that they are going to be producing a tahoe rst performance edition so this comes as a very interesting update and before you think ah this is kind of a dumb package let's talk about some of the details so this actually features a power bump this rst performance edition will now be producing 433 horsepower from a 6.2 liter v8 which is an improvement over the stock model which produces 420 horsepower now this isn't as extreme as an upgrade like you would find with the escalator V, which is supercharged, producing over 630 horsepower, I believe, um, which is a pretty crazy performance uh, improvement. But this does feature the police package in terms of all the performance goodies, such as the stabilizer bar, and the suspension will be lowered uh, slightly just to give it a little bit better center of gravity. This vehicle also features Brembo brakes on all four corners, and you can expect some interior upgrades as well, just to remind you that you have lots of sporty uh, packages. Even the gas pedal is a little bit sporty for what you can expect to see from this vehicle, which is pretty interesting. We've seen all these performance SUVs from the other brands, but this is the first of what we've sort of seen from the performance American SUVs aside from the Escalade V. Mini USA has announced a special edition Mini Cooper called the 20 Year Edition. This celebrates the 20 years of selling cars in the US from the British company that's now German owned, which is pretty interesting, but it's going to be a patriotic themed car. So the cars are available in red, white, and blue, and they feature a silver roof and mirror caps along with piano black trim, and even feature a star along with some red, white, and blue stripes on the hood or bonnet to be correct to the British theming. The cars are four-door mini hardtop S's, and they start at $36,315. It's kind of an interesting announcement, uh, especially considering that being the British roots of the company are also red, white, and blue, so it's just kind of a fun patriotic nod that celebrates the sort of heritage of selling mini in the US. Lamborghini has announced a new hybrid powertrain for what's going to be their hypercar prototype race car for the LMDH prototype. So this comes an announcement that Lamborghini will be building a new car that will compete in both the hypercar endurance championship as well as the WeatherTech sports car championship in the GTP class. Um, this car is going to have a V8 hybrid drivetrain, which is a twin turbo V8, which is estimated to have a combined output of 681 horsepower. Now this comes as an interesting move as we've seen Lamborghini moving in the hybrid direction for a little while now so it makes sense that the race cars would be matching the hybrid drivetrains that we've been seeing coming from the street cars now along with that while Lamborghini is not alone in developing this car for Squadra Corsa their race car team they are also receiving some engineering help from Williams Advanced Engineering of Williams F1 fame so there's quite a lot of development going into these cars and personally I'm super excited for the upcoming hypercar class as we're gonna see competing at Le Mans this year and of course some other race car championships and things around the country so we'll just have to see how this car looks, but it's exciting to hear some of the first technical specifications. 
Next, we have the unveiling of the Gorgana Cars NM concept, which is exciting because it is a Restomod and a Miata. Now, this is not something we see very often, but it's a Barchetta style focused version of the car that can be intended for street use as well as use on the racetrack if you prefer to use it that way. It's an NA Miata that features a bunch of cosmetic uh, upgrades, even though it is very clearly an NA Miata as well. It also features a tonneau cover, so you can use it as a single seat race car if you want that aerodynamic slipperiness. But the powertrain comes from an ND Miata using that Skyactiv uh, inline four, which is pretty interesting. So rated at 181 horsepower, although the Italian startup based out of Rome, they say they can include a power upgrade of 225 horsepower, so you see fit. There are also some additional upgrades that can be added, such as more carbon fiber to add lightness, so to speak, including the base weight of this car, which starts at just 1,830 pounds, making this a very light car indeed. And it's exciting to know that it can be made even lighter with more horsepower, should you see fit. The interior has also been stripped for more of a race car feel. And I think it's a very interesting concept, especially taking an old platform like this. Not to say that it isn't great because Miata is always great, but it's exciting to see a resto mod that's maybe more affordable in this use case. With that, that's the end of this episode of News Flash. If you enjoyed it, you could throw a like on this video. We'd really appreciate it. And be sure to comment below and let us know which article was your favorite. If you want to make sure you don't miss future episodes of News Flash, make sure you get subscribed as these come out every week. And if you're interested in reading these articles, we always post the links below. So be sure to check that out. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.